video let's see the next set of problems based on evaluation using triangles and some properties we have two questions lined in front of us before watching this video i request you to at least go through the previous video if not all the videos let's see what the question has to say evaluate cos tan inverse 3 by 4 and the second part is cos secant inverse 5 by 3 for those who have already watched the previous video this question can be solved pausing the video by your own do it and then recheck the answer and for those who haven't watched let's see what the question has to say and how it gets solved tan inverse 3 by 4 draw a triangle because these two things are different we do not get any idea just by simply looking at the question i have a right angle triangle i have 90 degrees now 3 by 4 let theta is here so tan means what tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base i know tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base that means what perpendicular is what perpendicular is 3 which is on the opposite side base is 4 which is here what is the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is something which is here opposite to 90 degrees so i know by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square what is base base is 4 4 square is 16 what is perpendicular perpendicular is 3 square is 9 it is 25 equal to hypotenuse square but we weren't in the dire need of hypotenuse square rather we wanted hypotenuse which is under root 25 which gives me 5 units as my answer to hypotenuse so hypotenuse is 5 this side is 5 what is needed now we need something called as cos inverse cos inverse that means base upon hypotenuse so the question continues cos here cos inverse here what is the base base is this side which is inclined and adjacent to theta so it is 4 what is hypotenuse opposite to 90 degree it is 5 cos and cos inverse nullify answer is 4 upon 5 right this is the first solution but we aren't completed with the question yet because one more part is left let's draw a line let's get started The question says cos and secant inverse. Cos and secant inverse have the same relation as sine and cosecant. That means reciprocal. So simple solution to this: you write here cos, you write here cos inverse, and you just take the reciprocal. Why? Don't need of drawing a triangle. Just go about reciprocaling because secant and cos are reciprocals of each other. Cos and cos inverse nullify. answer is left as 3 upon 5 so in this video what did we see we saw again as the previous videos some more problems and we understood that when to draw a triangle and when to solve simply by using the property of reciprocal in the next video we'll be seeing some more concepts some more problems in depth to understand things in a better manner